Digestion is the core of health. Um, without good uh, digestive health, everything else suffers. So if I see people with migraine, um, asthma, uh, joint problems, stress problems, all kinds of problems, one of the core systems that I always ask about is the digestion. So if you have digestive problems, I, I would highly recommend that you use the digestive tea. And this contains chamomile, fennel, meadowsweet, um, peppermint, and marshmallow. Um, so it's got soothing, uh, calming, um, gut brain relaxation, um, and soluble fiber. Uh, it also has an aspirin effect in the meadowsweet. So it's very good for any gut discomfort, and it has the fennel for spasm and the peppermint for spasm. For any windy conditions, it's very good. Bloating, distension. Um, for people who have any structural problems, any gastritis, reflux, um, diverticulitis, diverticulosis, ulcerative colitis, Crohn's disease, um, these herbs don't treat the condition, but they're part of calming down the background digestive tone. Um, so I would use those in an integrated medicine fashion along with other uh, medicine approaches. Um, I don't know of any digest digestive condition which doesn't um, respond well to slippery elm. And that's because slippery elm is multifunctional, multitasking. Um, I say of slippery elm that God got up early and she did a good job because it uh, acts as a soluble fiber for anybody with um, constipation. It's a gentle fibrous bulk because it's the bark of a tree. Uh, because it's the bark of a tree, it also works like blotting paper. So it actually mops up any diarrhea. Um, it, it does this uh, just simply by its physical properties. Um, it also, uh, so for that it's very good for somebody who alternates between constipation and diarrhea, which is common with irritable bowel problems. Um, it also acts as a very good food and nourishment for the cells of the digestive tract. And these cells are replaced um, new every three to four days. Uh, so nourishment for those cells is particularly good. If people have a flare-up or if they just don't like making teas, they are very similar herbs in the digestive blend. And these are used like a shot, five mils and a little bit of water three times a day. Again, they have the chamomile, fennel, marshmallow, peppermint and meadowsweet. Um, and they, these can be just more convenient. The slippery elm comes as capsules and it also comes as powder. Uh, the powder, you mix in a little bit of water, mash in a banana, work into a little bit of yogurt um, and take it in, in, in a paste or in a more liquid um, mash. Uh, and the, the, it works better as a powder but knowing that the capsules can slip into your bag can be very convenient if you're going away for a weekend or if you want to take some of the slippery elm at lunchtime if you've got to go to work. So the convenience of the slippery elm capsules, um, but the better action of the slippery elm powder. Um, so people usually choose be between the two um, as to which suits them at which time. Um, so digestion is the core of health. Um, and very important whether it's hormone balance is the other one that I commonly see where people have poor digestion underlying their hormone imbalance and if you go straight to hormone balance you don't get the effect that you're looking for with the herbs so if you have digestive problems deal with those first